So hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to another interview. I'm uh, the course careers instructor for the IT course and we have Tevin here with us who's a recent graduate and kind of recently got a job as well. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for allowing me to be in this interview. <laughs> for sure. Before you started course careers and getting into IT, kind of what did you do beforehand? Well, before IT, I spent maybe 10 years in warehouse oh, wow. so i have a lot of it anywhere from like loading and unloading to a lead position all of that sort of thing and outside of that my activities were dancing video editing music i was busy i was busy yeah, i know how that is and that re that reminds me normally i would ask for your socials but you gave it to me ahead of time so um <laughs> i'll put he has a you have a youtube and linkedin of course so i'll kind of put those in the description for for people i appreciate that <laughs> yeah very cool very cool um so when you from the time you started um how long did it take you to actually complete the course it didn't take too long it took me maybe about a month but i was after work i was you know grinding on the module so mm -hmm. it didn't really take too long for me it didn't take too long and then from the time you finished the course do you remember about like how long it took you to find your first job I want to say maybe two months, around two months. Were you applying like really hardcore? Or, like how was it like kind of casual or like how was your, um, how did that go? <laughs> oh man, my, uh, my hands almost cramped up from all those clicking and typing. Uh, <laughs> maybe I want to say at least 15 applications a day while I was at home. Oh, wow. But while at work, I did like on my breaks, maybe five or 10 applications. That's a lot. Did you, um, did you use that tracking template to kind of keep track of all yes. of your, okay. So there's probably, that thing is like full probably. It worked while being at home, but then while I was at work, I'm like, I did so many applications. I forgot to keep track of them. So yeah, I must've done maybe 300 plus by this point. Dang. Did you get, <laughs> did you have like, um, a lot of interviews or how many, do you remember like how many interviews you had before you, I've had maybe two interviews and you just got hired like on the second one or how, how did that go? <laughs> um, and I, you don't have to answer this like straight up, but like what, what kind of company did you end up working for? Or like, even where did you work if you're comfortable with that? Or? It's more like a, a, a smart shelf, um, company. So I don't know if you notice like, like the prices on the, um, uh, on the shelves at grocery stores mm -hmm. are now led. So they all have monitors and as soon as you step toward them, it shows the price, you know, and different things like that. Oh. It's pretty cool the way they the way they demonstrated everything. It's kind of it's kind of like a um, automated store. Okay. So there's no you just scan a QR code, walk in and do what you have to do and then walk out. That's kinda cool. It's like the the Amazon ish like the where you can just like roll in yeah so i'll for my position i'll basically be monitoring all of the transactions and if there are any errors i go in and fix them and then are you allowed to say like a ballpark of your salary and did you have to negotiate for it at all or how, how did that go it was it was non-negotiable but the ballpark is more i would say 37k to like 41k gotcha, gotcha. so you can kind of that's cool and then this this question's like not uh part of the ones i sent you so i can like take it out but people tend to, yeah. a to ask um like what can you say like your geographic region ish is it like midwest or like the one of the coasts or where would you say one of the coasts gotcha gotcha cool 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 yeah did you have a, do you have any kind of experience with IT before course careers or was it kind of like your own kind of messing around with stuff or? Yeah, it was more so figuring out like troubleshooting. So it wasn't like any vast knowledge or anything of the sort. It was more like, let me Google this and then see how I can fix this or turn this type of, uh, green brightness, that, that type of stuff. Yeah. That's, that's kind of how it was for me too. I, I avoided it for the longest time, but I was kind of good at computers. So <laughs> I would just kind of like, I could use them, but I wasn't like a professional, you know, so that, that resonates yeah. with me. Uh, was there any part of the course that you found like particularly helpful when it came to like interviewing and job hunting or anything stand out in your mind in that regard? Basically the interview portion of the course that it really helped. Um, I don't know if you want me to give out like a yeah. certain tip yeah. or. Yeah, you can. You can. <laughs> so basically, I always had a problem with interviews. So I was always the one that would jumble my answers. But the tip that you gave about 
asking them, can I have a second to, you know, process and allow my answer to formulate? That helped so much <laughs> to the point where people were like, wow, I never expected anybody to answer like that. Or like, this was actually the perfect answer we were looking for. Yeah, that really helped. Yeah, that, that's good to hear. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I think, where did I learn that? I learned that when I was, I was like trying really desperately to study for like my software engineering interviews. And I learned that from someone, I think it might have been Clem Mihailescu, who's like another YouTuber. And I was like, this, this works pretty well. So I tried to like put that in the course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good. But yeah, that's, that's good to hear. And then, um, for if anyone's like interested in the course, is there anything that you would warn them about? Like, oh, this part is like hard, or you want to maybe do this before enrolling or any kind of any thoughts like that? Well, I, I think during the uh, beginning portion, or I think it's before they actually start the course, you have a free introductory course. I think that kind of explains everything um, in general. So I don't think people would really, I don't think they should hesitate to jump into the course. Obviously, the information that you give is, it's enough for the person to make it into different um, different jobs, different job uh, titles. I would just say, watch out for the subnet masking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that that's probably one of the toughest <laughs> for, it was it was tough for me, but it was also one of the things that I enjoyed the most. Oh, yeah. That's good to hear. And I agree, that's probably the most conceptually difficult part of IT because we don't think in binary, so it takes time to get used to. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. Do you have any additional advice for not even necessarily for course careers, but just somebody who wants to get into IT, like having studied and made a resume and like all the stuff? Do you have any advice for anyone wanting to get in, like any kind of tips or anything like that? In regards to the course careers, I would say do it. There is not a lot of courses out there or like boot camps or what have you that are this reasonably priced and just trying to get into the field like I was, you just you just have to do it. Even if you're taking small steps, like looking at people such as Professor Messer, different people from IT related places, learning what you have to learn. There's a lot of stuff to learn, but like even the basic things, uh, TCP, FTP, even a little bit of like command prompt, every little step will bring you towards your goal. Yeah, that's really well said. And to talk about the point of looking other sources like Professor Messer, um, I, I really recommend people to do this, like even all throughout the course at the end of the modules, I'll say like, okay, now go and like Google these terms or search YouTube for these terms and see if like, if you understand everything that they're saying, if it matches mine or if you learn something new, because it's really good to hear it from many different sources, especially for hard stuff. Like you said, TCP and like IP addressing, I had to learn that from like four or five <laughs> different sources, honestly, when I was learning it the first time. So yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, that's very well said. And um, going forward, like what are your plans? Um, are you just going to work in IT and then try to spin up some YouTube on the side? And do you want to get into cloud or like kind of what are your goals and stuff? Honestly, I want to do YouTube on the side, but um, not only with IT related material, but family matters as well. Mm -hmm. I do have a family I done as far as like my career, seeing how vast IT is, I I'm torn between cloud and cybersecurity. I do want to do cybersecurity because um, there's a lot of things out there happening to people and it's unfortunate. Um, people are being uh, taken advantage of, mm -hmm. you know, so many scammers out there. So I make it a point for myself to want to take care of my family and not only my family, but everyone around me. Mm -hmm. So I think cybersecurity might be something I'm really looking into. That's good. And the kind of good news about that is if you go to cybersecurity, you'll kind of get pulled into cloud anyways and if you go to cloud <laughs> you'll get pulled into cybersecurity anyways so you can just like probably you know end up okay just go for it. yeah <laughs> yeah that's good some good some good plans but yeah thank you <laughs> I, I really appreciate uh, having you on. Do you have any like final thoughts or like any questions or anything like this? I would just say thank you for uh for being a person of of your stature being able to speak to people in a way that they will understand. I noticed like during the course you give really it's like simple simple thoughts and simple tips on things, but when you take it and you apply it and apply it and continue to apply it, it expands your knowledge in different ways like like how you brought up um, Google different small things and practice those things so that when it comes time say for like an interview when it comes time to actually get into the interview, you're comfortable with what you know, and you can just tell them what you got to tell them. And then yeah, you don't it's have to. Easy. 
yeah yeah it's, really <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like um you know for example you you pour a lot like if you go to the interviewer and they're like okay if you final question or whatever you need to pour this glass and like fill this glass up with water and it's so easy for you to do right because you've done that like a thousand times in your life it's kind of like the same yeah. the same concept if you do something like so many times it just becomes boring and kind of second nature-ish so then it's like you don't have to think too much right and be nervous yeah 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 that's like super super important i can't stress that enough i try to like say that in my channel a lot but i don't know i think people are getting tired of hearing it <laughs> nah man it, it works you know so yeah. i think that would it. just thank you for for continuing to be you and you know wanting to help people because that makes people like me want to help others and do the same oh thank you i appreciate that a lot follow follow him on on youtube or sub subscribe to tevin i'll i'll put that thing on the screen again and then i'll put it in the the description as well <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah thanks so much we'll see you in discord thank you thank you mm -hmm.